world where one has places to go, people to see, and money to make. How does one find time to get all of it done? See, my name is Ryan Vernon, and this is The Hustle For Show. And it's kind of crazy, but I'm old. So if you're watching, if you're watching today, it's my birthday, so like I'm a year older. And that's why like I'm old, I'm 27, I'm old, you know? I'm literally in pain right now because I just got tatted. Uh, and like the pain is actually coming in now instead of earlier. I, I wanted to do a little quick video on resolutions and like kind of like goals that I have for the channel. And also just to talk a little bit about my recent trips internationally. Uh, so hopefully y'all enjoy the vlog, vlog number 20 in 2020. And let's just keep it rolling, you feel me? But before we get into all that, let's get into some updates. So, I know y'all been waiting, but Reckless Behavior, again, shout out to the Queens over at uh, Queens Media Collective. And again, for all these updates, I'm going to be putting them in the description. But Reckless Behavior, the web series is out. Go ahead and check that out. Episode 1 is out. Episode 2 is coming on Tuesday. crazy seeing it seeing one a web series that i'm involved with actually go off but also like huh like i remember when we were filming this and actually seeing it out so go ahead and check it out it's, it's dope you know two i have parasites on two other channels uh the first one with text over at city uh, go ahead and check that out. Uh, that was a dope interview process and it's actually pretty cool. It made me one more in tune with myself and kind of like what I'm doing and what my goals are. And then two over at True Health Forever, shout out to Declare. Uh, that interview was also smooth. Go ahead and check that out. Or we're talking about pasta syndrome. Again, links in the description. It's dope. It's dope just to hear, uh, in a way, how I view some of the questions that they were asking, and just to, in a way, seeing me on, on like other people's uh, like content. You know, it's like I've done my own thing before, but I'm on other people's things. So go ahead and check those things out if you ever have the time to. You know, everyone has time on their hands, and I'm not sure if you have a, the availability to give it to what I do. But you know, if you have it, yeah, go ahead and check it out. You know, just go ahead and watch it. You know, you feel me? <laughs> but to transition into these goals I have for the channel, I got, let's see, five goals, actually. I'm lying to you, four goals. Eh, let's say five, and I'll think of a fifth one by the time we get to it. So I have five goals for the channel that if I put in the work, things should come true. And so, go ahead and just sharing it with y'all because, in a way, it's a community. So let's grow it. Let's grow it. You know, if you want to give some of your input, you know, feel free to share. But it's the idea at the end of the day that we all have our own hustle. So let's hustle, y'all. But that being said, my first goal that I want to have for the channel is consistency. So the idea that is like, uh. I don't know what day it is, but I know on the 1st and the 11th, I can check the Hustler for Show channel before the end of the day, Pacific time, and there could be a new video up on those days. It's, some, it's a challenge for me because it's just going to be like, uh, it's have to be consistent. Just be consistent with it. It could be short, just put in the work, basically. As long as I'm putting in the work of being consistent, it's like it's going to get done. Because it's a lot of work to make a video. So no matter what work I put out, as long as it's consistent, then it's good. Um, so consistency is my first goal. When with that being said, that's going to kind of play into my second goal for the channel. And that's increasing my number of subscribers so if you're already a subscriber hey shout out to y'all shout out to y'all shout out to y'all shout out to y'all 
it's a list. I can see everyone who like subscribed and like if I know who the person is to the name, if it's a a, a name I'm not familiar with, then it's like, oh, I know who everyone is, you know? That's the kind of cool thing about being small. It's, that it's like, oh, I know who everyone is. And that's the goal when growing is be like, uh, it's just more people, but it's like, it's just because you're just getting your numbers up. And so consistency is going to help lead towards that, but also just learning more about YouTube, how it works in general, and taking like YouTube a little bit more serious. Even though I don't like using my camera for the vlog stuff, because when I'm using this camera, I'm actually working, working. And for the vlog, it's more I just want consistency. But... If I'm consistent and I learn the system, then we we'll see how these numbers go. And that being, and with that being included, my one of the goals like bring up the iPhone. It's about to upgrade this phone eventually. I can find a way to do it and not throw myself into debt. How we'll, we'll figure it out. It's a hustle for a reason. Uh, but nah, is this phone works? I like it, but the upgrade is like an uh, upgrade will make life a little bit easier. And in order to build, again, I don't need it, but in order to build, I want it. Yeah. So. Last thing on the list that I have written down before I think of one more for the fifth one is professionalism. Uh, again, with the camera, the idea that whenever I have this camera, I'm a pro if it makes sense. Like I'm not the I'm not the best with the camera, but I know how to use it. And in the game, I. In, in the game I talk and when I, when I, whenever, the game I talk and the jobs that I do, I say with the camera, is like, I'm actually trying. And I'm putting like my all into it. But again, for the vlog, it's like, I'm just being consistent, you know? It's like, I'm going to give y'all something to watch. So, working on things that is like, if I, a business has this, it would have certain things. So it's working on those things, the behind the scene things. Um, when it comes to YouTube, so yeah, I'm taking YouTube seriously because I'm finna have fun. And the last thing for this channel is just to continue to have fun. That's my last goal. Because if I'm not having fun doing this, then why do it? You're gonna have times where you need to work, but if I'm not having fun doing this, then why do it? You feel me? Feel me? So those are all my updates, and those are all like the goals for the channel. I have other goals in life that I wanna share, but for the moment, I'm gonna keep those a little bit quiet and then add on that I've been hustling somewhere else down in the future of the channel, but those are my goals right now for specifically this channel. So let's grow, y'all. And before we jump into this trip on Europe, let me go ahead and throw maybe one, for sure one, but maybe two or three clips from the trip outside of another video if I decide to get it done. But let me throw at least one because it's like, huh, life is literally random sometimes. So let's transition to that before we talk about Europe. Yeah. Now I remember when I was at school they treated me like I was a fool Punished me for trying to act cool so they me in the class he's facing the wall I had maths when they had PE, practice for my GCSE I was told the rest were better than me in English Everyone got C, not me, they gave me a G Pushed around by other ball league, got my head on the ground and grades not my knee I went to school on every birthday, I had detention every Friday But I said hey, my name's... What is your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, Burn. My name's Burn, but I'm having my say. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then 
last to talk about my travels. So let me just start a little bit just as what happened. Uh, recently traveled to Europe, went to Amsterdam, London, Paris. You know, it's, it was a great time. Shout out to the team because, because teamwork makes the dream work. You feel me? Teamwork makes the motherfucking dream work. And so through that, I was able to go uh, literally across the ocean. And to sum up my trip, I will say this, I'm American, my bad. But even through that statement, it's like, it shows how I was raised. I'm American, I'm from the United States, not all of America. America is North and South, you feel me? But I'm American, and with that statement, I'm, I'm literally saying I'm from the United States, you feel me? But I'm American, and how I think it's like, America is like the best. And then you go to these other countries that I'm going to say in particularly London and Paris and how I felt there was like, huh, I'm American, but this is not my home. I'm in London. So I don't know if, uh, if the people of London or, or the people of Paris feel the same way or, or act the same way or how they carry themselves eh, besides what I've seen but like the idea that it's like how I carry myself is like I'm an American how they carry themselves is they're from their it's their nationality and that's the biggest difference between each of us it's different languages how how like stuff say trash or say rubbish you know in, in London how how their their public transportation system is ran to how they walk and how fast it takes for them to cross the streets, you know, because in America, you get like 30 seconds to cross the street. In in, in Amsterdam, you get like t two seconds. And it was funny to joke around about, but it's like the average height in like in Amsterdam is, is like six foot, but it's you really go into these different cities and it's where you realize they're just different cities but the people around are like, huh, this is a, we're across the ocean so the people that look, when you look around you see the people, it's like, it's common for this area but for me, it's like, wow, I'm in your home basically and I see you for the first time. It's kind of like how, in a way, people must have felt when I went to Thailand being like the only black person around, I was like, whoa, you're not from here. And that's the thing. I'm American. And being even in London and Paris, in London and Netherlands, these two in particular, because English is spoken, it's like I speak English, but I'm American. And that's at the end of this whole trip, at that whole trip, it's the idea that it's like I'm American. And there's a level of arrogance that comes with that statement. And there's a level of, you ain't shit that comes with that statement. But it was how I was raised. It's my home country. So, it was an interesting trip. Just to see different worlds, literally. In a way, helping me understand my own world. So, yeah, no, if y'all have time to travel, you know, go ahead and travel. And actually, like, see things and not just stay in your room. Because if it was up to me, I would just be in the room all day relaxing. You feel me? Cause that's all I'll be doing ever is just be relaxing. But actually going around seeing, walking around, destroying my knees, you know? You get to see something and it's like, it's different from everyday life. I could talk all day about this, but again, it's my birthday. I want to get this done so I can do other things and just have fun in 20, let's see, 2020? Sheesh, 2020. Before I leave, let me say this. Because I'm old, I learned that things may not make sense, but take a second to breathe. Because once you're calm, Seeing 10 years down the line becomes a little bit more clearer. 
Again, my name is Ryan Vernon, and it's the Hustle for Show. Because we're trying to grow, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, do all that YouTube stuff. I got to do more research, but do all that YouTube stuff, you feel me? Make this your year. Here's a couple motivation. Cheers.